everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Georgia Aquarium's Deep Sea Learning. My name is Miss Meggie, and for all of my United States teachers, we are covering the standard NGSS 5E SS 3-1 today. And the topic we're gonna be discussing is conservation, preservation, and what the Georgia Aquarium is doing to help. So, conservation and preservation are, by some people, used interchangeably, but the truth is, is that they are both different tactics to get to the same goal of protecting the environment for future generations. Now conservation is where, let's say if you had a forest and you still needed to log the forest for some trees to use for some resources, conservation would be saying you can cut down 10 of these trees per month to make sure that the trees have time to grow back and we have trees in the future for future generations, but we are still able to collect resources to use for our needs. Preservation would tell us that we cannot cut down any of the trees in this area because we want to leave it exactly as it is for those future generations. So one more time, the definition of conservation is that you are limiting the amount of resources that you can pull from an area to preserve that area for future generations, but also to gain resources that we need to be effective. Preservation is where you rope off a whole area and say, you cannot use this area other than leaving it exactly the way that it is and enjoying it for future generations. So we have a lot of national parks throughout our country, such as Yellowstone, that are going to be preserves. They are left that way so that we can go and we can visit them and enjoy the beauty of nature, but we aren't pulling any resources from them. So in talking about conservation and preservation, we are here at Georgia Aquarium's new gator crossing exhibit, where we have a couple of different American alligators on exhibit in our living collection for you guys to come and enjoy. We have American alligators, juveniles, and we have albino American alligators that are also juveniles. Now, if you're an albino American alligator, this means that you are all white and you are lacking certain pigments in your skin that make you that typical green and brown color that you normally think of when you hear the word alligator. We are protecting these guys here at Georgia Aquarium because they do not camouflage as well in their natural habitat. So a lot of different human care facilities are going to have these albino alligators across the country in order to give them a safe place to grow and also to help conserve their species and be ambassadors of the whole American alligator species. So in 1967, the American alligators, which are here in our living collection in Georgia Aquarium's Gator Crossing, were very close to becoming extinct. Now the American government saw this as an issue and decided to establish different preserves for American alligators, which meant that we established different parts of their natural habitat to be roped off and left completely alone and monitored by the government to make sure that these gators were left to their own devices to breed and to increase their numbers so that they could come back from the brink of extinction and increase their numbers. And now gators, thanks to this preservation and conservation that we are doing to help them, have actually come back and they are thriving in their natural environments. And we have some of these ambassadors for you guys to come and visit at Georgia Aquarium. Along with having different ambassadors here at Georgia Aquarium, we do so many different things to help the conservation of aquatic ecosystems. A couple of those things that we do is going to be seafood savvy. So that is where we have a list of different fish throughout the world at the proper seasons. So you are not overfishing in one area and endangering the population numbers of particular different kinds of seafood species. Another thing that we do is we have a lot of compostable utensils in our cafe aquaria so that once you throw them away, they can biodegrade naturally without leaving any plastic pollution behind. We have reusable bags that if you go to Kroger, you can find those reusable bags stamped with Georgia Aquarium's logo and a couple of our friendly animal ambassadors for you guys to use. And each of these reusable bags will cut down on the single use plastic bags that you see in your grocery stores as well. Along with all these things, Georgia Aquarium is always monitoring the animals that we have here in our living collection. And we are also sending a lot of researchers and scientists out into their natural habitats to learn more about them so that we can be better at our future conservation and preservation tasks that we set our minds to. All right, so the at-home project that we have in the fact sheet for you guys to do is our Captain of Conservation badge. So what we are challenging you guys to do is to find a certain animal or effort that you can research on Georgia Aquarium's website to study so that you yourself can become a captain of conservation. On the front, you're going to have a picture of the topic that you chose. And on the back, 
You're going to have information about the effort or about the animal, so how it's helpful, how it's endangered, and how you can help it in its aquatic environment in order to thrive. So this will encourage you guys to be good and to make steps in your everyday life to preserve our aquatic environments. So for all of our Georgia teachers that are out there, we are using our Georgia Standards of Excellence and the standard we used is S3 L2 substandard B. So thank you guys so much once again for watching another deep sea learning video with Georgia Aquarium and we will see you in the next one. Bye.